I'd just like to ask you a couple questions on the forest industry. Would you like to introduce yourself? My hunting name is Gwai Gwonklin and my Christian name is Arnie Bellis. I grew up in Hadagwai in the Massad area here and our family, uh, the Bellis family, has a rich history of working in the forestry sector. I also worked in the forestry sector first as a chokerman and uh, worked on towers and also I owned a tree planting company called Huxta Forestry Products and we planted trees for six years. Um, that was very good work and very rewarding. As people know, generally us has been on this island for 10,000 plus years and the forestry and the forest is a big part of our culture. And, you know, from making totem poles to canoes that got us up and down the coast. But old Ida's used to manage the forestry too. They had a, a methodology of ensuring, um, you know, the big standing uh, cedar trees and, and practice a bit of silviculture before contact. But now we participate in the forestry sector. And as I said, my family has a rich history of it and my uncles and and there's a real expectation when I was growing up that you had to work eh? and uh, you couldn't turn down an honest day's work. With that being said, moving forward in the evolution of the industry and forestry sector, the added value component of, of the forestry sector has to be really looked at and the skill upgrading to be able to do that, to be competitive on the world marketplace. And I would encourage young Haidas to look into these things and maximize our wood, because we have a really high quality wood on Haidekwai here, and it could work into the world marketplace at very high-end products. And I'm fortunate, um, I have a son that is a forester, and uh, he plays an intricate role and has played an intricate role in our land use plan. And um, our theory is pretty straightforward that if we didn't have our values and principles on our land base, then the big companies will exercise theirs. And it didn't really fit. So we, if we're, we say we're, we own it, then we got to behave that way. But the forestry sector, does provide for families and it provides good income for parents to raise a family and have all the health stuff that you need and to make healthy children. And also maintaining a discipline to work constantly is a real plus for any family. So I encourage young Haidas to get involved in the forestry sector, but going farther than that, all First Nations in Canada because the forest is a cornerstone of who we are and our culture, and it's still a very viable option to improve our quality of life and to maintain a constant learning curve and evolving and how to work in a sustainable manner. So thanks for the interview and take care.